the Union County Fire Academy in Linden, and we're here with one of the recruits. And this is Jimmy. It's easy to remember because there's three years. Here. Yes. All right. So yeah. this is Jimmy, and uh, so Jimmy, tell me what your experience has been like so far here at the academy. Uh, great. A lot of training. Uh, a lot of roof training, hose training. Pretty much going ever over everything that uh, that you could here. How long have you been a fireman? Uh, I've been. I've been a fireman since 2010. I was a volunteer in Kenilworth okay. uh, for about four or five years. Then after that, I got hired by the Springfield Fire Department. Okay. I was there for about two years, just under. And then uh, Union gave the, gave me the call, so uh, I wanted to come here. It's my hometown. Oh, that's great. So you already went to the fire academy? Yes, sir. So that's good. So how is this experience different from the last time you went to the academy? Where is it? It, it is. It's a lot different. Um, a lot more manpower here, so it's, it's a lot easier to uh, to get more things in play. Right. Uh, we're able to do, you know, a real search team, two two hose lines going in, possibly a third hose, third hose line, and with roof ventilation on top of it. So it's a lot different having ten guys right. compared to one or two going through an academy. So when you when you graduate the academy, uh, tell me we're looking forward to it the most. And it's like what a week away, right? Week yeah, away? I'm. I'm looking forward to uh, finding out who I'm going to work with, what shift I'm going to. We don't know that yet, so uh, I'm looking forward to uh, doing that, right. finding out who I'm going to work with, some personalities, and getting to know some new guys. So you're coming down to your uh, your hometown, so that's pretty exciting, right? Yes, sir. Tell Very me what exciting. that's like for you personally. Uh, I was all. It was the main reason I I switched. Um, I was in Springfield and I loved it there, but there was just something about you know protecting the people that I grew up with, the people that I know, the town that I grew up in. Right. So I've met something. That's good. Yeah. That's great, man. And uh, what, do you, what do you look to take away from this experience here at the Union County Fire County? Uh, I look to take away or leave here with some extra knowledge on things I haven't learned before, which even just in this last evolution, uh, I learned something new. So that was good. Do you, do you find that they're, they're putting you to the test uh, physically? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Sweating a lot. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I noticed just watching the evolutions. It seems like there's a lot of emphasis here on that. Yeah, they're they're getting it pretty warm in there, and they're making sure we do everything right. They're making sure we get there quick, and if we're not quick, then it's getting even hotter. So they're they're putting us to the test, definitely. Tell me what it's like from for your experience. I mean, because not everybody here has already been through the fire academy like you. Um, are you able to help them a little bit? Yeah, I try, I try to lend a hand. There's there's a couple of us that have been through it before, so I think we all try to give our two cents on something. If somebody's having a question they don't want to ask somebody, like a lieutenant, um, they can always feel free to come to us. And, you know, we don't judge anybody for it. It's good. We, yeah, there's no need to judge anybody. We're all in the same field. Yeah, absolutely. Anybody you want to thank for uh, for your opportunity or anybody that's been supporting you throughout this process? Uh, my whole family. My wife, uh, my mother, my father, my sister. And uh, my in-laws. I'm staring at one of them over there now. Oh, good. <laughs> well, listen, I appreciate you taking a little time with me and telling me about your experience at the Fire Academy. And uh, looking forward to seeing you graduate, which is you know, about a week and a half away, right? Yes, sir. So can't wait. It's, time is a ticket. Right? Yeah, can't wait. Anything else you want to add? No, that's it. All Thanks right, for the interview. You got it, man. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. We're in the basement division, or the first level, if you're looking at it from the exterior of the building. We're on the alpha side, facing towards Lower Road. Right next to me is one of our props that we've had custom built in-house. What's great about this prop is, and it, we try and make it as real as possible, we actually have a metal plate going across the top of it. That metal plate keeps all the water droplets from falling down and snuffing out the fire. The great thing about straw is that it burns pretty easily. The bad thing about straw is it goes out very quickly, especially when the, when the fire steams up, when they hit it with the line. So this prevents that from, it allows them to darken it down, but it doesn't allow them to put the fire out completely. We want them to hit the ceiling, cool it down, and then move in for the final kill, for the final objective. So all the hay will be piled up right here, and we get it as high as we can, probably about two, three feet, nothing on top. And it works really well. They get to darken it down, they get to experience that, but as we all know, these fires don't go out with just the one line open it up. They have to really get on top of it and uh, really dig it through and get the final extinguishment. They actually have to do salvage and overhaul, which is great about these birds.
So now we're in the large room. It's one of the biggest rooms uh, that we have in this building. Okay? So one of the great things about this is if you look up the light that's coming in, this is our flat roof prop. So we can use for like a commercial, um, uh, commercial building fire. So the guys can ventilate right through here if they need to. There's a lot of open space in here. So when they come in through their lines, they have multiple points of entry. They can do a lot of line stretching. Um, for companies that come in uh, outside of us that don't work here all the time, one of the greatest challenges that I've heard from some of the officers is when they, they don't have the opportunity to really pre-plan this. So they have to gauge the length of lines that they want to pull that's going to actually effectively get the line into the seat of the fire. So we have that capability. If we, if we come in through this door on the alpha side, it's a real short stretch, but if we tell them they have to come in from the Bravo side, they just added almost 100 feet of hose. So for new officers, it's a great training tool for them. And like I said, this building is relatively large. It looks small from the outside, but as you can see, this space is pretty big. Um, I'd say it's probably like 20 by 30, so it's a pretty good size. And we are now with Justin at the Union County Fire Academy, who is wet and smelly. I like it. It's good stuff, right? So uh, it's a, the kind of smell we all like to smell. It's a very unique smell. Everyone on camera knows what I'm talking about. So, Justin, tell me what your experience has been like so far at the at the academy here at Union. Uh, it's been great so far. We've been running a lot of drills, a lot of different situations. Uh, all the firefighters have been helping out from the department. Uh, they've been giving us a lot of uh, just a lot of information. Right. Is it what you expected when you got here? I mean, is this is this what you thought it would be, or, or what? Yes, it's it's exactly what I thought it would be. A lot of hard work. Yeah, a lot of hard and, work. Uh, a lot of physical activity. And what did you do before this? I worked for a public works department. Okay, so with public works. I mean, you're used to being outside and using your hands and being physical, right? Yep. So, um, was this exactly what you thought it was going to be, as far as physically and mentally, or no? Uh, I mean, everybody doesn't. Nobody thinks it's as hard as. As it actually is, and I'll tell you, it's, it's extremely physically exhausting. Yeah, so they're pushing yeah. you to the to the max, right? Yeah. Which is good. Are, are you uh, are you looking forward to graduating? What about a week and a half? Right? Absolutely. Yeah. What's going to happen then? Uh, we'll go on shift and we'll live regular lives again. You regular lives again? Yeah. Are, are you? <laughs> you're saying your regular pattern is messed up right now? Yes. Right. <laughs> so when you're here at the academy, what's going through your head as far as uh, you know each day you get here? What's going through your head? I just want to learn as much as possible so I'm ready for anything that could happen down the road. I don't want to be I don't want to be put in a bad spot because I wasn't paying attention one day. Right. And I want to learn as much as possible. So you're using this this time that they're giving you to try to hone in as much as you can so when you you know when you graduate you're ready for those real world scenarios. Absolutely. Yeah, good. What about uh, what about the time that you spend here? Explain that to me for a little bit. What what is that like for you? It's like one big family. Is it? You know, we all just hang out together. Everything's laughing and joking until the work starts. Right. And then it's get the job done as fast as you can and as safe as possible. What type of relationships would you say that you develop here with uh, your other recruits? Uh, they're, they're family. They're family. brothers. They're all brothers now. Yeah. So you, you came into this and you you know now you see what you what you have developed as a, as a brotherhood. Yes. Yeah. And certainly that's something you didn't have before with uh, you know. No. Working at DPW, and there's nothing no. wrong with that. It's just a different type of job, yeah. right? So now it's it's much different. Yeah, a whole different atmosphere. What uh, what do you look to get out of this experience? Uh, a career. A career? A great career. I'm looking forward to it. And working with the people you're going to be working with? Absolutely. All right, good. All right, man, I appreciate talking to you. Thank you. All right, pal. Be right. safe. You too. Oh, well that's brother. Oh, get off me.
So now you're inside the burn building. Uh, for those that don't know, this building was built in 89. It's an all, con it's all block and concrete building. Um, the last couple of years, we've added some of these metal plates with insulation to protect the concrete from spalling. Almost 40 years of burning in this building, which is going to show a little age. So we've been able to uh, keep the Class A burn on this property and everyone agrees it's one of the best training that we still have available to us in New Jersey. Uh, so part of what makes me proud to be here is having this, this tool available to us. It doesn't react the same as a Class B burn, and I'm not knocking Class B burns. Class B burns are important. The great thing about those is quick setup time, and you can do a lot of evolutions real fast. This one, there's a lot, of, the, the steps are more intense. They're, they're more labor intensive. The cleanup, the repacking of all the hose and everything. So it's more intense. And then we also have to put the prop back in for the uh, roof cutting. So that kind of slows the process down. So. We try and get about three to four burns in, depending on how many instructors we have available for the day. Uh, typically, it's anywhere from three to four. We've had as many as up to six and seven. Um, that's for a very large scale incident that we ha may have planned for today, especially for our own recruits uh, when we go through. And that's essentially it for the building. I mean, it's pretty simple, straightforward. There are thermal um, temperature gauges throughout the, throughout the building to make sure that we don't go beyond a certain level of, of temperature and I think the cutoff is 1200 degrees so if we reach that the alarm goes off prior to that letting us know we need to ventilate instructors have safety lines as we do for all burns we have safety lines we can cool the fire down or cool the ceiling down so we don't damage the building anymore. And yet another recruit here at the Union County Fire Academy in Linden on this muggy, uh, beautiful day. So, you just told me that your father is a firefighter. Yes. And where's he a firefighter at? Uh, he's a fireman in Kenilworth. Here by in the County. way, this, this is another Jimmy. <laughs> All right, just to confuse everyone, this is another Jimmy. Um, so he's a fireman in Kenilworth? Yeah. And it, what is that, a, vo a volunteer Volunteer company? department, yeah. Okay, is that what you started doing? Yeah, that's where I started in uh, 2011. He was a fireman before I was even born, so I was just kind of grandfathered into it if you want so to say you that. like every on rest of us we got you got sucked yep. in you got, got sucked, sucked in, in right. that firehouse when i was in diapers and just you know blossom from there do you Never, remember i always those, loved it do you remember those uh oh yeah know, being oh, at the yeah. firehouse mm -hmm. young, as a young boy i remember plenty of times where i'd be there with them and i'd start getting yelled at to go upstairs and hide because they were going out on a call and they didn't want to run me over or, right right you know i tried jumping onto the truck a couple of times but it didn't work out too well i'm sure you did <laughs> So, uh, so you were also telling me uh, off camera that this is your third academy. Yeah, <laughs> third time's the charm. Wow. So your first academy was where? Uh, it was actually here okay. back in 2011. Uh, this is the only academy for all of Union County. So when I became a volunteer in Kenilworth, they sent me to this academy. Uh, went Monday, Wednesday, Friday nights, all day Saturdays for about six months. Uh, back in September 2016, I got hired by the Maplewood Fire Department in Essex County. Okay. Uh, I went to the Essex County Fire Academy. That was about two months long. And then uh, when I made the transfer over to Union, they said, guess again. what? You're going back to the academy. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> well, I mean, so you're probably the best guy here to talk to about uh, <laughs> academy life. Um, so, obviously, with three academies under your belt, you, you probably went into this one a little more confident than most yeah. of your other recruits, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, definitely more of a comfortability, you know, kind of used to what they were going to expect, what they were going to throw at us, right. you know, kind of 
they've thrown a couple curveballs in there, but I've been prepared for them. Is it? Do you find yourself trying to help your uh, your other recruits? With oh, things? absolutely. With, with a class this size, you know, you always gotta you always gotta contribute something. You right. know, if you're not doing something, you're not helping anybody, especially yourself. You know, you always gotta be doing something. You always gotta be training somehow because just teaching somebody else is gonna probably teach your own. You're gonna teach yourself something. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know. I find it even now with all the years I've been on, you're still learning something yeah, every day. Absolutely, every day. So, uh, what's ex- what has this academy been like for you, experience-wise? Like, what have you taken away from this? This one, like I always try. Anytime you train, you always try and pick up little little tricks that are going to help you. You know, with uh, a busy department like this, with a lot of veteran guys that are coming down, and we always got different guys, especially when we've been doing live burns. You always got different guys from the different shifts coming down that are always going to give you a little bit different piece of advice and a right. little different trick that it's just tools for the toolbox. You know, right. you got to have options. Absolutely. So are you are you finding that the your time here has been different than the previous two times or no? Yeah, absolutely. Every every time I've experienced with any kind of training, and especially all three academies, yeah. there's always something different. You know, you get a different group of guys, different culture. You know, every department is always the same, but you always get a little bit something different. Yeah. Tell me about the uh, your experience with this, this academy. Is it more physical than your previous, or do you feel like it's pretty much the same, or are you kind of uh, routine with this? So when I went through with the Volunteer Academy, um, you know, it wasn't as physical. There really wasn't, like, a, a physical training aspect to it. It was more just you learn the basics, you got your book, you go learn fire ground your operations. Practicals. Yeah, and you right, do your right. practicals. Uh, when I went through with the Essex County uh, Academy, they do it a little different where they kind of blended the fire recruits in with the police academy recruits. Okay. So you're doing physical training with them, you know, you're running multiple miles every day. So you're doing PT and all yep, that? Yep, doing PT multiple times a day. And uh, with this academy, you did the same exact thing. Every morning we met, we would uh, go to the local high school gym. Some days we'd throw weight around, the other days we'd be running. So. Uh, with the Essex County Academy, the big focus was on uh, running and cardio and that kind of thing. And with this academy, it's a little different. It's kind of more, um, a little bit of everything. Okay. You know, because that's what firefighting is, a physical job. It, it's great that you can run 20 miles, but you can't lift the saw. You know, you got to be able to do both. But uh, with this one, it's a lot more hands-on. And over the course of the 16 weeks, we've been able to get our hands on pretty much every tool that we got here. And it's not just you do it once and you're done. Right. You're doing it multiple times a day so that everybody gets comfortable with it. So they're putting a lot of emphasis and a lot of focus on that in particular the particular yeah. tools. So mm-hmm. you're leaving Absolutely. your more comfort more comfortable, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Um, what do you what do you plan to get out of this? I mean if you're been through three academies, you know, <laughs> what do you plan to get out of this? Out of this one, you know, I went into this one with the same mentality. I'll go into any kind of training scenario, whether it's a seminar or a hands on thing. Like I said before, you gotta have options. Right. As many tools in the toolbox that you can have, you know. So uh, when something happens on the fire ground, whether it's a good situation or a bad situation, you can handle it. And I'm just looking to learn as much as I can. You know, you never stop learning on this job. If if you know, you're familiar with the show. Um, you you tell you know you you know the deal. You got a lot of people watching this that aren't firefighters. They're saying, man, I want to think about becoming a firefighter. Mm-hmm. Or I'm on the fence about it. What advice could you give? these recruits that are the potential recruits about being a recruit at the fire camp. Do it. <laughs> Doing this for so long, it's it's the best job in the world. You're going to hear people tell you that all the time. Sometimes people are like, eh, well, everybody says that, but it, it really is, you know. It has its good days, it has its bad days, but you're always helping somebody. And if you're going to do it, go into it with, you're an open book. Always be willing to learn, listen to everybody, and just, just take it all in. I think it's great that this helicopter came <laughs> now during all the interviews and the whole time we weren't interviewing there was no helicopter but of course there's a helicopter I probably know who's in it <laughs> probably uh, I know who's in it uh, all, all kidding aside though but um, that, that's good advice that you're giving you know people who look and become a firefighter and uh, you know with your father being a firefighter too what, what is that for you like as far as a family bond uh, it's it's the best you know I was fortunate enough uh, when I was a volunteer to go to a lot of fires with him, and, you know. There's nothing better than that, right. you know. Sitting next to him in the seat and, and doing his job with him, and it's just uh, he always says he's proud of me. But you know, I just try to live up to him because you know he, he taught me a lot, and yeah. not just about fire service, but you know life. So I just try to do the best I can for him. So I'm, I'm sure he's looking forward to seeing your, your graduation. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and then I'm sure you're looking forward to not being a probie. Oh yeah, someday. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I, this is this is, is this it for it? me. Is it the final this one? is it for me. I, I got no problem cleaning the bathrooms and all that stuff, but, you know, somebody else's turn next yeah, time. I hear you. <laughs> all right, well, here you go. This is uh, another Jimmy here at the Union County Fire Academy. And um, anything else you'd like to add before we uh, kick, kick you back so you can have some lunch? 
keep doing what you're doing, man. I think you're doing great. Oh, it's I appreciate awesome. that. You know, Thanks exposure very much. for the fire service and, and everything. You know, you're doing great. Awesome well, job. Pete, you're a part of the alumni now. <laughs> All right. Today they're going to be doing what they what we call a, um, a balloon frame simulation. Fire on the first level here, which is the best description. It's a three-story building, but we kind of break it up as we need to. So on the first level, they're going to have a basement burn, and the simulation is the fire extends, as we all know from balloon frames, you have fire in the basement, you have fire in the attic, and that's exactly what they're going to have now. Truck company's getting ready to set up, start going up the ladder to do their cuts. As you, can see, as you can see, the supply lines will be going right into their entry company. Their truck two is on the other side. We'll get around to that side. Ready? This is the primary attack line. In a few minutes, they're going to have the backup line. As we all know, or as we should know, the backup line is there to protect the primary in case there's a fire that comes in behind it. Now, these guys have been practicing this routine for about two weeks. It's almost muscle memory to these guys now. So I'm here with Danny at the Union County Fire Academy, who is uh, another recruit that was willing to talk to us today uh, in the middle of this evolution, uh, nice and smelly and wet, <laughs> right? So that's not new to you being in construction, right? You're in construction, yeah. what, how many years? About 14 years. 14 years in construction. Yeah. So you know all about manual labor and being yeah. wet and being you know, physically tired. You're going home stinking, yeah. Right. <laughs> so tell me how this experience has been different for you, you know, going from construction to this um, what the, what was the Academy like for you um, the Academy it, it was it's a lot different than like you know doing construction you know it's a lot more like um, I don't know how you would describe it like more organized and stuff like you know when you're it's more team oriented and stuff like that now do you obviously when you're in construction using saws and, and that kind of stuff yeah. just kind of come natural to you right mm -hmm. um, what about what about the fire department you know ideology or the fire department culture what, is that something new to you or you said you were a volunteer right yes i was a volunteer in uh Roswell park for 14 years prior to uh getting the job in union okay so 14 years as a, as a volunteer farming you know what this is all about mm -hmm. and you you knew coming in here what this was going to be like um how how was it though when you got here what did you expect or not expect um i mean i expected it to be intense and that's exactly what it was you know right from the uh, the get-go you know we were running miles we were um you know, hitting a sledgehammer on a tire, we were, we were climbing roofs, crawling around, you know, we were getting dirty you know, right from the beginning. So it was it was definitely a lot different from, you know, when I first did the academy as a volunteer. So you're leaving here, you're going home telling your wife, oh my God, 
you know, I'm shot. You know, they're they're killing us today. I mean, it physically is it, is it physically taxing? Is it what you expected, or is it more than you expected? Um, it's about what I expected. You okay. know, going home. You know, it's. I mean, you know, you're not like completely exhausted, but you're you're getting there. At, you know, at the end of the day. So being a, a volunteer for 14 years, you know, stretching hose lines and cutting saws, you know, using saws and cutting roofs, this is something you've done. Yes. Do you find yourself uh, mentoring or helping your other recruits in the class? Yeah, at times when, you know, when there's certain things that I could help them out with, you know, I don't want to overstep like some of the instructors boundaries or something, but right. if there's something, if I'm working with like a team member and like I know like something's going on, I had to do it better, right. you know, I'll show them, you know, like, okay, this is how, you know, you can do it to help you out a little better. What What has this experience been for you here at the Academy? For you personally, what has it been like? Um, it's been it's been great because there's a lot of things you know they like you know after being on 14 years, there's things that you know they come up with doing different ways. You know, there's different ways that this department does it than I did it. You know, my volunteer department. You know, so it's just you know and getting back to the basics. You know, it's there's nothing better than that. You know, refreshing with the basics. What was it like for you to, to get that call that you're going to be a firefighter in Union Township? What was it like for you? Uh, it, it was a great moment. It's something you know I wanted for a long time, and to, to finally have it come to fruition, it was something unbelievable. People often refer to it as like hitting the lottery. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it was. Yeah, I, I've heard that phrase many times. Everybody come up to me. Right, right, right. Yeah. And uh, what kind of support have you had from from your family and stuff? Uh, my my wife's been very supportive. Her brother is actually on this department also. Oh, great! So you know she she's familiar with it. And her uh, one of her grandfathers was a fireman in Newark. So she's kind of got like a family like history. So she knows like you know what to expect with certain things like that. That's great. I mean to have that support system at home and especially with the background that she has with the firefighting, yeah. that's going to help huge. You know it's going to pay big dividends in your in your marriage and your firefighting culture and that kind of stuff, right? What, what is it about the uh, recruits here? I mean, you know, we talk about the bonds, right? Because not everybody that watches this is a firefighter, right? So some people watch this and maybe are contemplating to become a firefighter or contemplate and get hired somewhere or being a volunteer. Um, explain, explain that dynamic to me, that uh, the brotherhood, if you will, or what it's like to be in a team with all these recruits that you went to the academy with. Uh, well, you, you first start out like an individual, everybody's new, you know, they don't know what's going on and you introduce yourself to everybody and then eventually as you're doing activities together, you're doing um, exercises, you know, you just start developing molds together, you know, you start, you know, you have to have each other guys back, that's that's firefighting, you know, you have to have each other's back. So it's just, you know, thing, it keeps developing and then it, we're here probably about like maybe 10 year, ten um, weeks in the academy right. and we're like a strong brother. You know? Yeah, and you're almost done, right? You got yeah. what, a week and a half to go? Yes. Wow. Excited about that or what? I am, yes, I'm excited. You're ready to get, you get started at your house and then get, yeah. come back to some normalcy again? Yeah, I'll start Enjoy cleaning your bathrooms summer. and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> cleaning bathrooms and sweeping the floor. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, Dana, I appreciate you spending some time with me and uh, explaining the academy and explaining your experience here. I wish you a lot of luck. I know it's coming soon. You're going to graduate. Yes. Thank All right, you. man. Good job. Talk to you soon.